The Galaxy Watch 46mm, is it still worth buying in 2021? We will find out in this episode. First of all, let's see what the watch offers as compared to the competition in 2021. As of now making of this video, the watch is available for as low as 150 US dollars as compared to its launch price of 329 US dollars for the Bluetooth model. Talking about the overall look, we have a rugged design that has a nice clicky rotating bezel with this stainless steel frame which makes the watch kinda heavy on your wrist. So it's definitely not for those users who prefer a lightweight watch. My watch has held up really well as there are no major scratches and scuffs. But this really depends on personal way of use. At the top we have a nice 360 by 360 AMOLED display that has a pixel density of 278 pixels per inch as compared to 364 on the Watch Active 2 and the Galaxy Watch 3. It is still a very sharp looking display but if you compare it with the Galaxy Watch 3, there is definitely a slight difference. Moving on to the user experience, the watch offers a ton of workout modes built directly into as health. Talking about health features, this watch is lacking blood pressure monitor and ECG feature which I think is important for some users and for some it's not. Look, if you are using a Samsung Galaxy phone and you are living in a BP and ECG approved country, only then you can use this feature. As it's a really painful process to get this feature working on a non Samsung based phone. But for heart rate monitoring and basic workouts, this is still a great smartwatch. With its massive 472 mAh battery, this is the only smartwatch that still offers up to 4 days of battery life as compared to just 2 days on the Galaxy Watch 3 and Watch Active 2. Auto sleep tracking on this watch is accurate but I'll try to avoid wearing this watch while taking a nap because of its weight. Software wise the Galaxy Watch 46mm has received two major updates in the form of Tizen 4 and 5. Also with the latest One UI 3.0, the watch has exactly the same UI as of the latest Galaxy Watch 3. And recently Samsung has decided to ditch Tizen OS in favor of Wear operating system from Google. Which means there will be no major update in future for this smartwatch apart from bug fixes and performance improvement updates. As this watch has exactly the same processor as of the latest Galaxy Watch 3 and about same RAM which is 768MB as compared to the 1GB RAM on the Galaxy Watch 3. So it can handle upcoming updates super easily. As the Tizen OS has not many applications on the Galaxy Store, so in my opinion the 4GB storage of this watch is enough for some watch faces and onboard music storage. So coming on to the final verdict, if you're looking for a smartwatch right now in the market that has an amazing battery life, that shows the time with thousands of watch faces, that offers rich notifications from your Android phone and in the end, a watch that offers basic workout modes and heart rate tracking just by spending 150 US dollars, the Galaxy Watch 46mm is just for you. I have placed some links down in the description that you can check if you want to buy this watch at a discounted price. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, bye bye.